Hi everyone, this is Phi, and I'm going to try out break weapons. Now, I do want to mention I'm running the HD, uh, Intel HD 3000 graphics, the onboard graphics on my CPU. Um, it's not good for 3D games. This is clearly a 3D game. Uh, I did notice that it does <laughs> seem to actually run, though not particularly well. It actually um, it did a little better when I wasn't uh, recording in OBS, as you might imagine. Uh, but right now it's pretty pretty laggy, there's a lot of input lag. Um, I can tell that the uh, V-Sync is enabled. There doesn't appear to be any option for it. Um, I did want to mention that um, I don't play first-person games with V-Sync enabled because of the input lag. Um, things like 2D games and stuff generally uh, don't notice that and I prefer that because of the screen tearing, but um, for first-person games it really makes a big difference to me. Um, the amount of input lag. Um, and given that this is also kind of dropping frames and stuff, it kind of uh, exacerbates that issue. So it is pretty laggy for me right now. Um, again, mostly just because of my hardware. It's not the developer's fault. But um, we're going to give this a go anyway, just see if we can kind of get a feel for it. And <laughs> it might not play well. But um, I was curious, so we're going to try it out. Um, I did put it on the fastest graphic setting in the uh, Unity run options, so um, I don't think it makes a big difference for this particular art style, but uh, I did want to mention that. Um, well, that's interesting. So yeah, I haven't seen anything of this game past this point, so right away I'm noticing there's an item and then you get this really kind of juicy effect. Um, when you look at it, Swing is left mouse button, defend is right mouse button, bash is Q, and lunge is E. Text is a little bit... So you can read it fine when it's right here, but like, you get the right angle. It kind of blends into the thing. Okay, so I'm getting killed by this guy. I didn't even pick up the thing yet. Um, how do you pick it up? That's kind of annoying, because I just wanted to look at it. Press F to pick up. Okay. Bash is Q. Then lunge is E. So that's interesting. Okay, so, um. Um. Let's see, what have I noticed? Alright, so I'm falling off the edge. Um. I died, apparently. Alright, so. I really like the, the info, the way it showed up. That was, like, super juicy. Um. I can tell that there's a lot of emphasis on the kind of feel, the play feel of it, I guess you could say. Um, it feels really weighty, and I like that there are different moves like this. This is like really cool, actually. Um, oh, and that's defend, okay. Um, Alright, so I'm noticing that the sound effects are kind of lingering in space where they are activated, so if I'm moving, if I'm strafing, I do a move, I can hear it kind of shift in the uh, stereo field, the sound effect. Um, and I don't know, I don't, I've never used Unity or anything myself, but um, I would say that you should probably try and keep the sound centered to, centered in the audio field when they apply to the character, your character. Um, So I don't know if that means just not using like a 3D audio or something like that, but... <clears throat> um, now I did notice before when this guy was attacking me, um, he like turns red I guess right before he attacks, and then he turns white when he gets hit, I guess, and it seemed like at one point I should have hit him, but he was also attacking me, and he I'm assuming he can't turn two colors at once, so I don't know if there's like a priority, like if you can't hurt him when he's attacking, or if it does hit him but it doesn't show the, the white flash effect, or how that works, but that might be something to consider. Alright, so I like the little uh, exclamation marks. Ooh, okay. So, between the lag and the kind of rockiness of the screen, it felt pretty awkward to do like a strafing attack, but I think that 
that would probably be a lot easier if my uh, machine was running faster. Um, just kind of trying to get an idea of his behavior. His movement seems kind of weird when he does a little attack thing. It doesn't. Okay, so he kind of goes up for a second and then he zooms forward after a second. But when you're really close, he kind of does weird stuff sometimes. I don't know. It's a little awkward for some reason, but um, that's just my perception of it, anyways. So I'm not really using the other functions here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I just launched it. Uh, I'm going to check something. Okay, so if you do this kind of downwards. Does that mean you can do it upwards? It's hard to tell, but I'm... Yeah, I think it gives you upwards momentum, so... This isn't always only a horizontal movement, it can also... Presumably... Move you in any direction. Um, which is interesting, because there doesn't appear to be... Oh! I was going to say, there doesn't appear to be a jump. But um, also, I seem to have discovered there's a little dash movement with the space bar. Alright. So that's cool. Um, obviously, the issue of falling off the edge is um, a problematic one. It reminds me of good old 3D Sonic games and all their bullcrap with going too fast and just dying instantly. Um, that's obviously super frustrating, so something you want to be really careful about, you know, maybe just don't have uh, edges that go off into bottomless pits. That would be a straightforward fix, I think, but, um, what is this? Oh, is that like a nest? Spider eggs or something? Oh, wow, holy crap. Um, okay, so block. Does this just make you, like, invulnerable to everything in front of you? E is... Well, this, no, Q is bash, so... Ooh, I didn't even hit him. Interesting. Alright, so, um... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not really trying my best here. I'm just kind of trying to um, experiment, but, um... Given the... I guess the amount of, of uh, time it takes for every individual movement, because you're kind of committed to your movements, um, which are relatively slow, um, fighting against that many enemies feels a little bit out of control. That's something which I think... I mean, obviously this adds a lot of weight to it, and um, well, I guess you can hold it down? Interesting. So you can do kind of a three-hit attack. Obviously there's kind of an intended skill element with the timing your attacks and stuff like that, but um, you have to be really careful when there's a lot of enemies around you because they can um, collectively kind of put a lot more actions on you than you can perform yourself if your actions are uh, too slow. So it's something that can be challenging to deal with, but... Alright, I'm gonna try this combo thing that I was... Whoops. See, I thought that last hit was gonna, like, kinda stun lock him or something, but he, he attacked through it, I guess? So I don't know if, if enemies are stunned at all by attacks, or if that's not how they work. Um, let's see which button is which. That's the bash. Um, okay, so right mouse button just stopped working there for a second and there was a strange beep. I was kind of spamming the button and then it like beeped and then it started, it started working again, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, let's see, this button. Okay, so that dazes them, I see the little star effects. Um, I think it feels like the field of view might be a little on the low side. Given the fact that it's a melee game, um, I mean, just navigating it feels fine. I'm just noticing, like, when these guys get right up in your face, like in the range that you attack them, 
it, it kind of feels like they they fill up the whole screen here. Um, can maybe even make the attack reach a little longer or something. Because yeah, I mean like this this doesn't feel like the field of view is too wide. Just moving around, I don't think, but. These kind of low-res guys get right up in your face like this. It feels a little claustrophobic. Um, so I'm guessing if I attack those, that more spiders will pop out. Which I don't really want. So... I'm trying to remember the keys here. Oh yeah, there's a dash on the spacebar. Did I just... I think I clipped through the wall for a second. At least the camera did. Yeah. <laughs> so there's kind of a... A see-through walls hack there. Not in the demo, big guy. All right, so this is. Uh, I'm guessing that's just the end of the demos. It's right here. Now if I attack this, like so. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was amazing. That was hilarious. <laughs> I actually really liked that. Um, I could probably do that again. I really like how you can launch them like that, it's fun. Alright, I gotta... Oh, it takes a long time to recover and then put your shield up. Um... Yeah, it feels like it takes way long to get your shield out again after throwing an attack. Um, I really tend to like games where you can block really fast. Um, and I know there's something to be said to be being committed to attacks, but um, in the very few games that kind of emphasize being able to block quickly, uh, it really makes it more of a kind of a reflexive thing <clears throat> if you do it right. And um, I really like the feel the the feeling of being able to do that to kind of reflexively block things instead of. Um, relying on spacing and very carefully not over committing and that kind of thing. So the much more active playstyle versus cautious, I think. Um, so one game that was really good about that was Ninja Gaiden. You could pretty much block instantly at any point and that was a very challenging game so it's not like... Alright, that did launch me off. It's not like it's uh, automatically going to make a game too easy or something. <coughs> Alright, so I notice, I'm guessing you can probably see my cursor on the screen because I have to like click on here, but I notice at the top left here there are meters. Oh, is that a stamina? Okay. So it's doing the whole stamina thing, which is sort of a, <laughs> sort of a meme from Dark Souls, I know, but, um, <laughs> which I honestly think is kind of annoying, just the whole idea of putting stamina into everything when it probably, uh, I mean, in my opinion, it's kind of a lousy mechanic in a lot of cases, but that's just lousy or unnecessary, but, you know, it's a matter of opinion, obviously. <clears throat> so I guess the stamina thing is pretty low. I don't know how it affects anything, but... Um, yeah, so in any case, I guess we just kill these things and then let's see if there's like a demo over screen or something. Oh shoot, that went way farther than I thought. Alright, so it's it's pretty tough to kind of manage the distance on that thing. I don't know. Yeah, especially since, because if you do it down into the ground a bit, you don't go as far. If you do it like upwards, you probably go even further. Oh wow, that was weird. You can hit this, I guess. I guess it's just like a. Yeah, it's just like a visual effect. Okay. Which is actually kind of cool, because. It's good to not forget that sort of detail. Alright, so we got. Bash move. So that only hit one of them. I'm wondering if the bash move only works on like the first 
collision and not all of the enemies in the collision. So it's kind of what I, the sense that I'm getting. So if there's like three enemies right there and you try and bash them, it'll just hit one of them, I think. That's what it seems to be doing, which I would consider changing. Ah. Alright, he's running. Ah. No, I can't. It's not responding. Okay. <laughs> it did the thing again where it wasn't responding to input. At least not the mouse buttons, and then it did a little beep <laughs> for some reason. Or was that. Oh, maybe it was um, a stamina thing. Because I just rem remembered that you have some kind of stamina, so. That's probably what that was. I, I had no idea. I just um, I just figured it out. I guess it must have been what it is, but I didn't know what was happening. I thought it was just a bug. <laughs> See, that didn't work. It kind of looked like it should have. Um, one thing that, and this is a really kind of small detail, but one thing that um, you have to be really careful about is matching your animations and the actions of things in games so if for instance that didn't work. okay so if it looks like your sword is still out and you're still like moving forward but the actual attack has already stopped then as small a detail as it is it, it uh, does make a difference to just kind of make sure that those things all match up perfectly um, one thing that has really bothered me um, in certain games that I've played, like um, for instance like a first person shooter where um, the reload animation finishes, or like if there's like a reload, you're reloading a magazine and the guy shoves the magazine in and the animation appears to finish but the actual reload that's happening in the code hasn't finished like right at the end and then you like switch out your weapon or something and it doesn't finish the reload that kind of thing um, which I've actually seen in a game I've played um, it's super annoying so you know, just be really careful about that kind of thing alright there's bones right here I was, um, oh my gosh those don't I kind of thought maybe you could break the bones or something, but they just kind of get in the way of stuff. That's interesting. Crap. That was a perfect strategy. I missed. I wonder if you can knock them out of their attacks. Well, not with that timing. Oh my gosh. And as <laughs> all the delays between things, it makes it hard to time stuff like that for sure. Um, so that didn't look like it hit him. I don't. I'm guessing it's impossible to bash them out of their attacks like that. It felt like I should have been able to, and it didn't work. So. Yeah. All right, get shoved. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and kill these. Hopefully, not die. Is my health? Oh, my health is regenerating. That's interesting. Oh gosh, I just went through all those. Uh, it takes a long time to get your shield back up. You swing. Movement. Movements are kind of weird. I don't know. Alright, so I did notice that. Yeah, the stamina gauge ran out there. Um, that was bad. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, I accidentally put the shield down for just a... Like, if you let off the button for a tiny fraction of, of a second, it takes like a long time to get it back up again. Um, which is another thing you can consider. I mean, it's one thing to consider the delays between different actions, but if you're just like putting a shield down a tiny bit or something, I, I think it should just come right back up when you press the button. Um, I think that would be an easy deci decision to make. Um, just not have so much delay between something like that, because it's not, it's not like swinging a weapon or something, you're just raising or lowering it. <clears throat> Alright, so I think I killed everything, and I'm going to assume that that's the demo. Um, which is basically just some combat in this uh, admittedly pretty interesting sort of level design. Um, once again, I'm playing on kind of inferior hardware. There's a lot of delay in my inputs, so that's going to affect the general <laughs> timing of my playing, but um, obviously not the actual delays between things and stuff that's all part of the game, but um, in terms of my impressions, I actually really like the feel of it in general. Um, and I think that, you know, certainly there's a lot of room for, for polishing things, but even as it is, I think it's pretty fun. Um, and making enemy behaviors that <laughs> are more complex will kind of um, it's still kind of force you to kind of work out the little details of how you want everything to move because if um, generally if you have really simple enemies then you can kind of get away with <laughs> um, a lot but once you start trying to make things that are more complex and different types of enemies and stuff you start to see a lot more um, areas where you need to polish your basic movement and mechanics and timings and things, but um, yeah, so I kind of gave all my impressions about things. I do like the, the weightiness of it and the, the movement is, like the uh, screen movement is a little bit on the heavy side, I guess, but it, I don't think it's bad. It can be a little disorienting, but um, I think it's kind of a, a stylistic decision that does add kind of impact and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, li I like the concept and the the feel and the juiciness of it, and the different moves that you can do. And I just think that there's um, tweaks that you can make to make it feel more fun and in control and action-y and stuff. So um, things for you to consider. And I look forward to seeing where this goes. Hopefully you'll stick with this one. <laughs> Alright guys, see you later.